As the semester continues, student stress rises, and here are some tips on how to stay relaxed. If you don't relax, you will experience burnout. Like, that is guaranteed to happen. Um, sometimes your grades start to fall. You start um, procrastinating even more. How often? Well, I think that breaks are vital throughout your day. Even taking like 10 minutes just to be like, okay, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just going to decompress for a little bit. I'm going to make sure that I'm eating. Like, I'm being strategic with your breaks. So wherever you can. Um, but I would say like, you know, maybe like those fuller breaks is really utilizing your weekends. Students can relax by just taking a second um, to themselves and just breathing. I think that breathing is really, really important and just, you know, focusing your mind on other things or just trying to clear out your mind. Um, but for some people that doesn't work. So some people need to like listen to music and like have a means to relax. Some people need to go on walks and feel like they're in nature. I personally like to um, just kind of just lay, <laughs> sometimes just laying down and just, you know, being somewhere that's quiet is really relaxing for me. Um, but that's pretty simple. But I think that there's always a way to find a way to relax. You just got to have, you have to be intentional about it. Um, I like to, it's a beautiful day. So I just decided to go for a walk today after class and I was just sitting here pondering, you know, uh, just trying to relax, uh, take a little break before I go back to my dorm and do some homework. Uh, I spend a lot of my time relaxing in my car, just sitting there. I like to cuddle with my dog and I guess play video games. This is Joseph Avila with Sun News signing off.